Hi everyone, this week on the Roche for All channel we'll be painting this beautiful but simple roach pattern. If you want to see me build this lure out of wood, you can click the link in the description. And with that said, let's get to it. The first color we'll be using is white as a base coat. All the colors you'll see me use in this video except for two are regular craft store acrylic paints for hand brushes that I thin down myself with the only reason being that the paint is very cheap but as you'll see here you can get very good results with them now I'm using one of the special colors it's the Createx Pearlized Silver just cover the entire lore Next color is black, we want to put this mostly on the top. This can be um, quite a lot, you don't want to see any grey through it. And after this is done, you want to dry the lore very well with a heat gun. Because next thing we'll do is wrap it in some mesh. The mesh I'm using is from reusable fruit bags. We can buy them in every store here. We want something that uh, has a hexagon pattern. Because those look best. Make sure to wrap it very tight. Because you don't want any paint getting under the mesh. To put the scales on, I'll be using the pearlized silver again. Just go over all the black. Do not put on too much paint, you still want the black to come through. Now I'll be painting the belly white, I don't want too much shine there so I'll just add a couple drops of pearlized white to the plain white. You want to make enough room on the sides to paint the fins on later because the fins don't paint nice on the dark scales. To get that blue shine on the scales, just take your dark blue and give it a very very light coat where you painted the scales, not on the white.
Now we'll put some bright orange on the belly and on the back. This is the same orange we'll use for the fins. For the fins I use a stencil, I made this myself and I have a video on that as well, I'll link it in the description down below. And here for detail on the fin, I just put the stencil back on and I just skim the top with a little black. And this gives it a nice shadow look, makes it look real. I want to do this on the top and at the base of the fin. Right here my camera work is kind of terrible but all I'm doing is putting some black on top and if you want to uh, you can put some black around the eye as well. To add some more detail I'll draw some thin lines on the fins with pencil. I've tried a couple methods like hand brushing and airbrushing, but a pencil is by far the easiest and best looking one. And just like that, you'll have a perfect roach pattern. All that's left to do is gluing on some eyes, cover it in epoxy, and glue the twist wires in. I haven't filmed the epoxy process because there's a lot of videos online already, but the best tip I can give you is to wait at least a day after painting to let the paint gas off. If you don't, the epoxy will be uneven. This is the end result, if you have any tips or suggestions, please do let me know in the comments. And if you want to see me test this lore, you can watch part 1, I'll link that video in the description down below. Since this lore was a gift for someone, I cannot fish it myself, but that person already sent me a picture of a big pike he caught with this lore. And with all that said, thanks for watching.